How's it going guys? I finally got something I've needed for a long time. It involves the Impella. It involves the back of my car. It's a fuel sending unit. I finally ordered one. So I'm gonna get in here and see if I can get this one out. Um, I don't remember what tools I needed. These are hand tight from when I got it. So I'm gonna undo these and see where we get. Cause I think all I need is like undo some clips and I might need a flathead, I think. To kind of help pull this ring off here. It's okay, B. So we'll see. It's okay. Yeah. Carson's in, in here as well. You wanna say hi? Hi! <laughs> I got my squishy spider man and I got a lot of toys here. You got a lot of toys here? Yeah. Daddy. Show me your new shoes. Look at my new shoes. Yeah, those are fancy. <laughs> Fancier than mine. Yeah. Yeah, I remember these. It's all dusty. I might try blowing this off real quick. Okay. Okay, okay, Daddy. So I'm gonna undo these connections. Um, this one you have to pull this blue thingy and then you can pull the connector off. Um, if you guys remember from when I did this once before, um, make sure you get the ring off and get this out of the tank pretty much. Uh, that way when you pull the, the fuel lines that have pressure in them, you can shoot the fuel into the tank. But I'm going to blow this off so I don't get all this dirt and debris in there. thingy out I have the car off as you would expect we'll go let thing out of there this one just gonna work that clip up without trying to snap it off are in there pretty tight as you would hope okay now since I got those off let me see if I can get this ring broke loose there's these little flat spots on here I'm just gonna try to hit it with my hand from where Guide. Okay. Yep. Now come back out. Okay. Um, yeah, my hand is not working well as a hammer, so I'm gonna go get an actual hammer real quick. Alright, I found this cute little thing in the garage. Look at that. That's a wooden craftsman hammer. This thing's probably like a collector's edition now. Where are safety glasses? Um maybe next time. When I get to feel my eye. it comes I can smell fuel by the way um, I didn't think this through and I filled up my gas tank two days ago and I've only driven like 50 miles so it's still pretty dang full that was dumb on my part I'm trying to get it to drain in there oh this is a mess I know everyone's gonna be like, why don't you relieve the pressure somewhere else? Well, ah, oh, there we go. All right, now, you gotta wiggle this thing out of the hole. Try not to get fuel everywhere. I 
Okay, here is the new one. The only downfall, this connector here, you have to cut off the original and wire up this new plug, which sucks, because mine is that style. I have to put it on that style, which absolutely sucks, which I didn't really know, but here we are. So, gotta do what we gotta do. More than likely, this is gonna be the last fuel sending unit this car ever has with it having so many miles on it, so YOLO. But I've, all you have to do on this is put this arm on with the float. So I just looked at the other one and it's literally a 90 degree rod and you just push it in the clips right there. So I'm just gonna, and you also have to put this gasket on, you just slide up over the whole thing. So we're just gonna dip this on in there. Set you guys down. Make sure your connectors are out of the way. Dang mosquito in the car. Oh my goodness. It's not one connector, it's the other. Yeah. Gonna work it in there. Um, before you drop it all the way down. Go ahead and put this thing over because that might be a pain in the butt, would be my guess. Um, that's probably not supposed to do that right away. Not too reassuring there, but just push it back on and pretend nothing happened, I guess. Come on, Panthers, get out of the way. Got stuff to do. <laughs> About to kill this mosquito first. Drive me bananas. Okay, you guys still work. Um, I went to get out of the car. I heard a thump, and I look back in there, and all I see is the legs of this tripod sticking out of the fuel tank. So you guys went head first straight into the fuel tank. I was not recording, so there's no power on, but um, yeah. I did get in there. It's just kind of spring loaded, so you just kind of have to push. But I just have this started. I just push with my hand and use kind of these knobs on here to get started. So now I'm gonna actually try to use the hammer and drive this ring all the way on there. If I remember from last time, you have to work it back and forth from one side to the other, so that's what I'm gonna try. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay guys, I'm gonna figure this out and then I will give you a better explanation of how I finally figure it out, if I finally figure it out. If not, someone's gonna see this thing posted on Facebook for sale. Finally got it. That's the good news. The bad news, by the way, I even like took my shoes off. It was it was getting intense in here. You might be able to tell by uh, looking at this what the next problem is. That's you know the I have to change this harness. These dang posts are in the way because this new style has to slide over that. There is not enough room there. For this to fit on that at all not even close is that even like maybe i can make it work that's not going to work so my only option maybe i have two options my first option is to take that ring back off that i finally spent 30 minutes getting on there and put this harness on and then try putting this ring back on or option two is pull the sensor off of this new fuel sending unit and put on the old one okay guys it's like an hour later and that was not gonna work at all so this is what I did <laughs> this is 
do not buy this model I bought. It does not directly fit unless you have a, some kind of adapter ring that's better than the one I have that came with this. It, pretty much, long story short, I used the sensor off of this one. I pulled the pins out of the connector, pulled the pins out of the connector on the old one and pretty much hooked up the new sensor into the old connector on this original fuel sending unit. So I pretty much repinned it to the new connector. So here's the the old float and the old sender. As you can see this thing's been getting hot. It's nice and uh, kind of scorched. You can see that all that well. And also I don't know if you can see the little fingers on this little tab here they're pretty much gone completely so that's why it wasn't making contact and this whole thing just has way too much movement so yeah this thing was just shot so I got this adapted I'm gonna pull this o-ring off of this one put the new one on there I'm pretty much this is just gonna be the new body <laughs> I'm not doing anything with this. I'm not trying to return it or anything. I'm just going to throw it in the trash. I'm going to try to clean out these ports on here a little bit more. Take this old sock off with the new sock on. I think that's it. Because this... Don't buy this model. That's all I have to say. So let's see if I can... Uh, I don't know if these socks pop off easy or how you can get these things off. And then also, as you can see, there's a little bit of junk sitting on the edge of this port. Looks like it's falling out right now. Probably for me flopping around on the gravel. So I can get this cleaned up and I'll show you right before I put it in. Okay, a warning. That sock is extremely hard to get off. The old one. It is nasty as you can tell. Dirt was falling out of it. I kind of had to manipulate it. <laughs> I ripped the end of it off because I was already committed. So um, yeah, the new one, it just presses up in there as a little o-ring But yeah, I'm um, trying to go try to install this. Hopefully everything goes smooth from here. Another thing to mention, that new fuel sending unit If you look at these ends Does not come with these clips to clip your fuel lines on It looks like you can buy a manage to get them off um, They're very fragile though, so I feel like there's a high chance of you breaking them so another reason I would not buy this one. It's kind of complete junk if you ask me. Guys, this was supposed to be a uh I would I would say at least a 30, maybe 45 minute job. Not like two hours, I think is what I'm on. I had to redo this whole dang thing. <laughs> so uh let's see if I can show you guys this up by the way uh this one how i was saying it, the other one had a lot of spring to it this one didn't have much spring to it at all it kind of just fell right into place and the ring actually went on a lot easier probably because it's worn out the springs are worn but anyways let's get this hooked back up um do those connections last let's do these lines pretty much only fit one way think now I gotta remember just like that pull that yellow cap off this thingy on here like that you can probably pull the caps off at one time because <laughs> now it's kind of hard to get to this one pull that off not have it fall into the compartment would be nice and one off. Not ah, drop it down there as well. Clip and the last one is I think just the vent tube. And that one should clip as well. Yep. Now we have our OEM connector still, which is fantastic. Go under sideways. And the blue plug 
keeps it from falling off just like that and now the flat four pin or three pin whatever pin this is let's push evenly and clip now we're done we'll put this on i'm going to start up the car and make sure everything works and then we'll be good to go so why i have you guys still on here before something else goes south by the way i've i've probably gotten 35 mosquito bites while i'm out here doing this i haven't even put my shoes on i'm just it's old Ugh. so it's showing the same amount of fuel um because i had a full tank so it's going to show regardless but make sure we're not spraying fuel out idling rough right now as we have air in the line and everything you can hear the fuel going so in fact the engine's still running that's a great sign so we are going to go ahead and slide this thing right on on here yeah. Right on on here English and these things you can't tighten them down they're just they're made out of really cheap metal they're just stamped I don't know why our mile per hour goes up that's kind of interesting that is very strange actually I've never why would my mile per hour go up it goes to like eight. If you guys know in the comments, uh, or if you guys know, leave a comment down below why I accelerate and park my mile per hour. It goes up because that's very interesting. All right, I went and drove it around. Now the every time I hit the gas, the mile per hour does not move, so we're good. Uh, everything seems good. It's sitting uh, pretty much, I'm only down eighth of the tank. So, keep you guys updated, but I think that was the complete fix. But I will let you guys know the long term. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video.